and uh, yeah let's start so uh, today's two concepts are going to be wi-fi hacking as well as android working i'll be demonstrating i'll be demonstrating wi-fi hacking first okay so let's start with the demo uh, so i've started up kali linux here so i have started up kali linux here uh, and uh, this is my kali terminal in here so i have two wi-fi adapters here one is my inbuilt uh, laptop wi-fi card which i'm using to share the meeting with you all and i have an external usb based wi-fi adapter which i'm going to be using for the hacking okay so as you can see here i have one wi-fi adapter in here which i'm used using to demonstrate you and i am having an external wifi adapter here which i am using to demonstrate the attack so i am going to do this in uh, this external wifi adapter so let me just start from the first step okay so before starting Wi-Fi hacking, okay. So before starting Wi-Fi hacking, the first thing to do is uh, you need to put your Wi-Fi card in a special mode known as monitor mode. So this monitor mode is used to listen to all the Wi-Fi traffic which is traveling near you. So your Wi-Fi car card has a certain range, okay. So, so like five to ten meters or fifteen to twenty meters. Your Wi-Fi ha card has such a range. So uh, before, uh, you, uh, normally when you are using your Wi-Fi card to connect to a Wi-Fi network, you can only listen to the traffic which is traveling through that network. Suppose you have connected to a network A, then you cannot view the traffic of other network when you are in normal mode. So to listen to all traffic, to listen to all traffic in all other networks, uh, you need to put your Wi-Fi card in a special mode known as monitor mode just a moment so yeah as i was telling your wi-fi card has a special mode mo known as monitor mode most of the wi-fi cards don't support it and uh, some of the wi-fi cards support monitor mode so you must see that your Wi-Fi card supports monitor mode before doing that. So my Wi-Fi card here supports monitor mode and most of your cards will support uh, this mode. So don't worry about that. So the first step to do will be to identify which Wi-Fi card you are going to use to perform the attack. So let's enter ifconfig inside your terminal. You'll see a bunch of uh, cards, bunch of software network interfaces and one of them will be your Wi-Fi card. Usually your Wi-Fi card will be named something under the name of WLAN. Okay. So we've got two Wi-Fi cards here, WLAN zero, which I'm using for my internet connection and to stream to you this webinar. And I'm using one more adapter WLAN one. This adapter I'm going to be using to perform the attack. So how this attack is going to be is, uh, First, you need to put your Wi-Fi card in that monitor mode. So I'm going to do that first. The command to do that will be armon-ng start WLAN 1. So if your Wi-Fi card supports this monitor mode, so if your Wi-Fi card supports this monitor mode, then uh, it will show no errors. And in the last, it will say monitor mode VIF enabled. So if it says like that, like that then it means that your uh, Wi-Fi card supports monitor mode and that your Wi-Fi card has successfully enabled monitor mode. So after enabling the monitor mode, you'll have to start searching for Wi-Fi networks around you. So we are going to be using a tool called Wi-Fi, W-I-F-I-T-E, Wi-Fi to do that. So I'll be doing it this way, Wi-Fi hyphen hyphen W-P-A. So let me just confirm Okay, fine. So I have my own Wi-Fi network set up here, which I'm going to use to demonstrate the attack. So after enabling monitor mode, the first thing to do would be 
wifi-wpa and press enter and it will tell you using wlan1 and uh, it will show you all the networks which are around you okay just a moment just a moment just a moment uh, before running wifi you need to install a few tools here okay so before running wifi you need to install a few tools and uh, i'll install them first uh, give me a moment So yes, before performing the attack, before performing the Wi-Fi attack, you need to install a few tools, okay? So you need to manually install a few tools which are required to perform the Wi-Fi attack. So for that, we are going to install separate packages, okay? So the command to execute will be, first you have to enable monitor mode in your Wi-Fi card, and then you're going to do apt install pirate, hcx dump tool uh, and hcx tools so these three commands you must execute and uh, these three command uh, these i mean this single command will install all the required tools for you it will install all the tools and after all the tools have been installed you will have to start wifi wifi hyphen hyphen wpa when you do this it will show you a list of networks which are present around you okay so here we have two wi-fi networks uh, the first step would be it will scan for all the wi-fi networks around you and show you a list and uh, as soon as your target wi-fi network shows up in your list press ctrl c ctrl c would stop scanning and show you the available wi-fi networks around you so here we have two wi-fi networks one is mahesh and the other is my target wi-fi network so this Mukesh says seven edge will be my target Wi-Fi network and I'm going to attack that network. And uh, for the kind of attack which we perform, we need to make sure that already one victim is connected to the network. Okay, so here under the clients tab, it will show you how many people are connected to the target Wi-Fi network. So this when this says one, then it means that one person is already connected to your target network target wi-fi network and uh, remember it is really important that for the kind of attack which we are going to perform there must be already some person connected to the wi-fi network so if no, uh, nobody is connected to the wi-fi network then this attack will not be effective so make sure to have something some number under the clients tab so that uh, there are already persons connected to the network and then after the scanning is complete after when you press ctrl c it will show you a list in here you must select which wi-fi network you are going to attack so now i'm going to target this network so the network's number is one here so i'm going to specify one here so i'll enter one and press enter and it will start the attack against that network so the first attack pmk id capture is uh, not really effective or efficient against most wi-fi networks so we are going to sp skip that attack Okay, so just press Ctrl C to cancel that attack and uh, leave that attack and let's go for the next attack. Press C to continue, go to the next attack and uh, this attack is what we are going to do, WPA handshake capture. So I'll be telling you what this attack does after uh, this tool completes. So let's wait for the attack to complete, let's wait for the attack to complete. So. Okay, so our attack is successful. And uh, after the tool completes, I'll tell you how this attack takes place. 
good so now i'll tell you what actually happens so here this wpa handshake is one kind of wi-fi attack and uh, this is attack which is really easy how this works is i earlier told you that you'll have to have a client who is already connected to the network so for your target wi-fi network there must be already one person who is connected to that network. So this WPA handshake attack, what it does is, when you're normally connecting to Wi-Fi, it asks for your password. When you enter your password there, your password will be shared with the target Wi-Fi network. So when this happens, you can listen for the password being sent over the network, and then you can capture that password. So when you're entering your password, your uh, device will use that password to authenticate to the Wi-Fi network. So when that happens, your pa password will be sent over the air, sent over the air, sent as radio waves. And that uh, process is known as a WPA handshake. Okay. So this attack, how it works is it will disconnect all the persons who are connected to a target Wi-Fi network. So my target Wi-Fi network here is Mukesh S7 Edge. And uh, Wi-Fi will first disconnect all the persons from the target Wi-Fi network. So after it disconnects, it'll, it performs this disconnect using a special process called uh, deauthentication. De so when Wi-Fi networks are turned off, it sends a special packet known as deauthentication. So when this happens, all the clients who are connected to the network will be disconnected from the Wi-Fi network. So Wi-Fi here, my tool here, will disconnect everyone who is connected to this Wi-Fi network. And after that, uh, what happens is automatically your uh, client devices, your phones or whatever, will try to automatically reconnect to the network. So when this happens, the password is again sent over the network. Okay. So when this happens, when uh, somebody tries to con reconnect, the password is again sent over the network. And in that time, when the password is sent over the network, we can listen for the password and uh, we can uh, capture that password and uh, save it. So that's how this uh, attack works, WPA handshake capture. And after, the, after this password has been captured, Wi-Fi will tell you that it has captured a handshake. And uh, down there, it will save the handshake to a special folder and it will save the handshake to a special file. And afterwards, uh, that password, which has been captured, will not be regular, will not be uh, like uh, easily understandable. It's of an encrypted format. So you'll have to crack the encryption and you'll have to obtain the password. So for this, it uh, does what is called as a dictionary based attack. It will have a pre-generated list of passwords, like uh, 1000 to 2000 password. And it will try each single password inside the pre-generated list against the encrypted password. And when it finds a match, it will automatically print out that it has cracked the password. So here you can see after the handshake has been captured, it will say running at aircrack ng with the word list. So this word list contains a list of passwords, which is present, uh, which is probably uh, one of the passwords in the Wi-Fi network. So inside this word list, each of the password will be tried against the target Wi-Fi network. And uh, if there is a match for the password, then it will tell you crack WPA handshake. And the thing which is coming after this PSK, so this PSK is known as a pre-shared key. So the, the thing which comes after this PSK is the actual password of the Wi-Fi network. So to connect to this Wi-Fi network, you can use this password. So if you go down, it will tell you all the details again. Access point name is the Wi-Fi network and what kind of encryption it's using and what is the password it has cracked. And of course, uh, whatever is there in this word list will only be the passwords. So if your uh, target Wi-Fi network's password is really, really complicated or it has a large number of characters or it is uh, like has special characters and symbols, most probably your target Wi-Fi network's password will not be there in this word list. So during that time, Wi-Fi will not be able to uh, manually crack the password. Okay, So it, it tries for only 1000 to 2000 passwords. And out of those, if the password is not found, then it will tell you that it has captured the handshake, but, uh, but was unable to crack the password. 
So in that time, you will have to manually crack the password yourself. So I'll be covering that later. So if anyone has any doubts on these concepts, you can ask me. I'll enable the chat now. So until now, I told you how to crack the password. So anyone has any doubts on this, you can ask me now. Yes, Akshit Chand. What's your doubt? And uh, how the word list is taken within our code or Armon command? So, okay, I'll I'll explain it. I'll explain it again. I'll write a list. I'll put a notepad like thing. So the word list is uh, something which is hard coded into Wi-Fi. So Sai Pavan, when does the session start? The session has already started. So the word list is already there inside Wi-Fi. Okay, I'll repeat the steps. Okay, fine. So I'll repeat the steps for everyone. So let's go back here just a moment. Okay. So the first step would be to put your Wi-Fi card in monitor mode. So this is the first step. So you'll have to identify what Wi-Fi cards are present. So that will be your first step. Use the command ifconfig and look for all the uh, interfaces which start with WLAN. Okay. So it will tell you WLAN 0, WLAN 1, etc. etc. So look for everything which starts with WLAN. Okay. And then choose which Wi Fi adapter you need to attack. Okay. So if you are uh, choosing, uh, we are choosing WLAN 0, then the command to be executed will be airmon hyphen ng start WLAN 0. So when you are choosing WLAN 0 to perform the attack, the command to execute will be airmon hyphen ng start WLAN 0. So with this, you have put your Wi-Fi card in mon monitor mode. And after that, after that, the next step would be to start the, um, the next step would be to start the, uh, okay, so, just a moment. So next step would be to start the attack. So before that, Wi-Fi requires a few tools to be installed. So install required tools. So this, this should be done only once. Should be done only once. So when you are not installed the tools already, then you should install this. If you have already installed the required tools, then no need to do this. So the command would be apt install pirate hcx dump tool hcx tools this is the command to execute to install all the required tools so after that you need to start wi-fi start the attack so press wi-fi hyphen hyphen wpa this is a command to execute and after that it will show you a list of available networks so it will it will keep scanning for the available networks and under that, you will have to specify which network. So after you see the target network, press control plus C. So when you press control plus C, it will stop scanning and it will show you a list of available Wi-Fi networks. And inside that, you'll have to select, specify your target Wi-Fi network. So back here, so if you go back here, you see it showed you a list of Wi-Fi networks. And out of that, you need to select which network you want. So if I want to hack into network one, then I, then I must specify, uh, enter the target network. So I'll have to specify one. You can also specify one to two, like uh, separated by commas or dashes, or you can attack all networks also. That's also an option. So let's go back here, enter the target network numbers. So after entering the target network numbers, it will perform the attack. So after entering the target networks, it will perform all the attacks and it will show you what passwords have been cracked. Okay. 
So even if your passwords have not been cracked, the handshake files will be stored there. So the encrypted, so even if your password is not cracked by Wi-Fi, the encrypted passwords will be shown there. It will be stored in your hard disk only. So you don't have to do it again. So you can use the already captured handshake and crack it through other means. I'll be telling you, telling on how to do it later. So before that, uh, these are the concepts and uh, these are the steps. So make note of it. This is how you attack a Wi-Fi network. And uh, is this uh, clear? So I guess this is clear. And uh, how the deauthentication attack? Okay. So after after entering the target network, so it will perform a few attacks. The first attack is PMKID and it will probably perform at other attacks also. So if you don't want to perform a certain attack, then just press control C. So if you press control C, it will uh, just uh, remove that attack and uh, it will go for the next attacks. And uh, here you can see the first attack here was a PMK ID capture. I know that is not effective. Uh, so I just uh, pressed control C and cancel that attack and go for the next attack. Press continue and go for the next attack. The next attack would be WPA handshake capture uh, during which it will uh, deauthenticate all the connected clients to a network and when they reconnect it will capture the password. So you can also enable monitor mode and just wait for it even if nobody is connected to a network. So even if nobody is connected to your target network when somebody connects uh, you can capture that password you can do it that way also and uh, that's about it. So if you want to skip any attack press control c to cancel the attack and then after that when a handshake is captured that handshake will be stored to this file so in your uh, in your current folder a new folder called hs will be created and inside that one file will be created with the encrypted version of the handshake is that clear so a new folder in your current folder called hs so you can see which folder you are in using this command pwd so you are currently in this folder slash root and inside there a new folder called hs will be created and inside that your handshake will be stored. So even if your Wi-Fi is not able to crack that password, you can manually use this handshake file to run it against other word lists. Okay. And uh, other doubts here. Can you tell me we can crack password without word list? Yeah. You don't have to use a word list to crack a password but uh, it's more effective to use a word list to crack a password. You can do it using Hashcat. So if you have a relatively powerful computer, if you have a graphics card or if you have a good processor, you can use Hashcat to crack the password. I'll demonstrate it. Uh, that's going to be the next demo. So, and uh, any other doubts here? The tool contains the word list. Yeah. Why fight by default contains the word list. So you don't have to download it separately. So if Wi-Fi is not able to crack the password from that word list, then you'll have to manually download other word lists and uh, you'll have to crack the password or you can just stop brute force it. Kali Linux installed, but IF config is not showing WLAN in it. So if IF config is not showing WLAN, then you probably have installed Kali Linux inside a virtual machine or your laptop doesn't have a Wi-Fi card, either of these two cases. So if you want to attack uh, Wi-Fi networks inside a virtual machine, then you'll have to use a USB Wi-Fi adapter and uh, pass the USB Wi-Fi adapter to your guest machine. Instead of putting control inside the host machine, you'll have to pass the USB Wi-Fi wi adapter to your guest machine. So uh, attacking Wi-Fi networks from virtual machines is kind of complicated. So it's better to do it with a physical install of Kali Linux. Is there any other way to crack the password? Yes, of course. Instead of using a word list, you can directly brute force the password. So you can try all possible combinations of a password and uh, you can do that too. I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate that too. Where can I find word lists online? Just Google Wi-Fi password word lists. You can find a lot of word lists online. And uh, some, some are also, uh, uh, some are also related to Indian Wi-Fi passwords and uh, so if you're trying it against your own uh, uh, neighbor's Wi-Fi network, <laughs> then you can download a custom version of Indian Wi-Fi password. So I'll probably show something here. Just a moment. Yeah. 
just a moment i'll show the thing here okay so uh, indian wifi password word list when you google it this way you can uh, get wifi word list which are uh, present in india you can do it that way so here you can see there are a lot of uh, google so there are a lot of results in google for this so indian word list whenever you want to brute force you find or create a suitable word list same happened to me so fine whatever so you can just google for indian password word list or something like that and you can get a custom version of wi-fi passwords for indians and sometimes it must it might also help to know the format of the password say for example uh, hathway is a wi-fi provider who are using mac addresses as the default password so here uh, I have a Wi-Fi and I know of a Wi-Fi network which use the MAC address as the Wi-Fi password. So here you can see access point B SSID. This is nothing but the MAC address and uh, the password for that Wi-Fi network will just will be just the MAC address without the colons here. So if the MAC address is like this, just remove the colons and that might also be the password. So you can also try to include that as the password and uh, yes what else is in here any website for downloading word list yeah i just told you you can search with google itself google is the only website which i recommend for anything so if you're asking me for uh, recommending websites just remember uh, every answer of mine will be google i'll not be telling you specific websites for anything okay just remember for all these sessions my answer will be google website google with panda wireless usb adapter can i achieve wi-fi hack in vm yes uh, you'll have to pass the usb adapter inside your virtual machine so your host machine should not be using the usb wi-fi adapter uh, you should pass your uh, wi-fi adapter to a virtual machine directly so that way you can uh, try to achieve a Wi-Fi exploit in a VM. If there is no password in word list, what you can do, I'll wait just a moment. I'll tell you about this. If the password is not cracked in, with the word list, with the inbuilt word list in Wi-Fi, I'll show you another demo I'll show you. That's going to be the next part. I found each zero each zero is ethernet so you cannot use ethernet interfaces for cracking Wi-Fi can you show the folder where the capture file is shown sure so here CD HS so okay I ran Wi-Fi from this folder okay so my home folder is slash root and when I was executing the Wi-Fi command so this folder uh, will be there and inside that it will be there so when i started wi-fi i was inside this folder so here a new folder called handshake will be created so this hs is a folder which will be created and inside there all the handshakes will be stored so this is the folder where uh, uh, this wi-fi will be stored i'm using a vm uh, when will you upload the recorded sessions? Okay, so just know recorded sessions are like three to four hours in length. We'll have to manually crop them, trim them, and uh, edit them so that it's clear for you. So, uploading the recorded sessions will take us time. So, don't worry. When you have completed recording, we'll definitely let you know. I'm using a VM, but I have not passed my Wi Fi adapter into VM, but I'm connected to Wi Fi. How? So you are not connected to your Wi-Fi directly. Virtual box takes care of that. So you're not uh, connected to your Wi-Fi directly. So if you are using a bridged adapter, then probably it will connect you using your Windows uh, thing. Uh, I mean, Windows driver itself. So for getting a Wi-Fi connection, if you are using a bridged adapter, then probably it will share with the Windows connection itself. So you can uh, to have this monitor mode, you need to 
have complete control. You cannot share a connection and just enable monitor mode on that Wi-Fi card. It doesn't work with Windows. Uh, yeah, if you are using a VM, it will get connected that way. And uh, Mahesh, my name is Mukesh, all of you. <laughs> we cannot use local Wi-Fi adapter. We can find for 200 to 400 without any brand. We can't use this for monitor mode. Please tell to all. Yeah. Uh, don't use a really cheap Wi-Fi adapter, okay? So make sure that when you're buying a Wi-Fi adapter, uh, that wi target Wi-Fi adapter supports packet injection or monitor mode, okay? So you must make sure. So if you're not really clear about uh, your target Wi-Fi adapter not supporting this, then go to this site, okay? Just a moment. So... Wi-Fi Firefox. Okay, so here, aircrack-ng. So go to aircrack-ng. So this is the website. Here you can see a page called compatibility. Okay. So go there and uh, inside that, if your uh, Wi-Fi card will be supported there, it will show you. Uh, and uh, it has, they have a, wait just a moment. Yeah, best Kali Linux compatible USB adapters or dongles. So you can just Google this also. Aircrack NG supported Wi-Fi adapters. When you do that, uh, you'll get a good list of Wi-Fi adapters which are uh, compatible with this monitor mode. So don't go for cheap alternatives, cheap options. That way sometimes you will not uh, get compatible tools. Okay. And uh, yes. And those of you who are asking about video upload and recording, please don't ask it anymore. We are, we'll take time because it's like three hours for each recording session and we'll have to manually edit crop and uh, do all work. So please stop asking about uh, YouTube and video. We'll definitely do that and let you know. Don't worry about that. So those of you who have missed classes also will definitely get access to this in YouTube. So don't worry. And uh, yes, as I was telling, uh, don't uh, buy any cheap Wi-Fi adapters. Uh, make sure that uh, the Wi-Fi adapter you are buying has compatibility with this monitor mode. And uh, for Wi-Fi Wi attacks, use Wi-Fi adapter in your laptop, not use mobile Wi-Fi. I'm not sure with it if you install Kali Linux NetHunter. So go to Google. So when you install Kali Linux NetHunter, it might probably help, help you for wireless attacks. I'm not really sure about that. I've never used Kali Linux NetHunter myself, but uh, you can probably use your Android phone to attack using Kali NetHunter. I'm not sure about that. And uh, can we use our router as a Wi-Fi card? No, your router has its own Wi-Fi card and your router has control of its Wi-Fi card. You cannot manually control your uh, Wi-Fi card that way. There is a Wi-Fi card inbuilt in your laptop. So if you're connecting to your router wirelessly, then your laptop already has a Wi-Fi card. So you don't have to buy an external USB adapter at all. So sometimes your inbuilt Wi-Fi card itself has support for monitor mode and uh, you cannot use your router as a Wi-Fi card, I'm sorry. How to crack five gigahertz Wi-Fi network? It's not even showing up in scan. So if you're, um, why does, your uh, Wi-Fi card must support five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So if if you are uh, regularly uh, looking at your Wi-Fi tab and if the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network is uh, showing up there, then it must also show up in air, air crack. I'm not sure about that. So uh, I have no idea about 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So you'll have to Google it yourself. Can we use our router as a Wi-Fi card? No. Connecting to Wi-Fi and perform this attack and connecting to a mobile hotspot are both same. Uh, no, connecting to Wi-Fi itself is separate from performing this attack. When you are performing this WBA handshake capture, you are not actually connecting to a Wi-Fi network. 
how this happens is when your victim is connecting to the Wi-Fi network, their password will be captured and then from there it will be cracked. So you are not connecting to the target Wi-Fi network yourself. Remember that. And also know when you're enabling monitor mode in a Wi-Fi card, you cannot use that Wi-Fi card to connect to any kind of network. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So once you have uh, enabled monitor mode in your Wi-Fi card, you cannot use your Wi-Fi card to connect to a network. Just remember that. So after you're done hacking, after you have cracked your target Wi-Fi network, you will have to stop the monitor mode. So Armon hyphen ng stop wlan one mon so if you go back here i you know that i chose wlan one okay so i chose wlan one for performing the attack and the corresponding command to stop it will be armon hyphen ng stop wlan one mon so after you have done that your monitor mode will be disabled and you cannot uh, exploit any other wi-fi networks okay so that's how this is done and uh, just a moment.